let us take the next question on block break i am marking this question let's read what is given here a simple block break as shown in figure the diagram has been given the diameter of the break drum is 30 cm and angle of contact is 45 degree full stop an effort of 600 newton is applied at the end of the lever determine the torque transmitted if fulcrum is at b for clockwise rotation of drum take mu is equal to 0.4 now this is the question of a simple block break diagram has been given whatever is given here we can write that in the form of data so first we will start this problem by writing the data the type of break here it is a block break next the diagram is given they are saying that the diameter of the break drum is 30 cm so i'll write it as d is equal to 30 cm therefore the radius of break drum would be half of the diameter that comes out to be 15 cm or we can say it is 0.15 m so this is the diameter of the break drum next angle of contact is 45 degree angle of contact here i will say that this is 2 theta so in the problem it is given that 2 theta is equal to 45 degree so therefore theta is equal to 22.5 degree next an effort of 600 newton is applied at the end of lever so the value of p is 600 next determine the torque transmitted if fulcrum is at b and the clockwise for clockwise rotation of the drum so we have to find out the torque value which is nothing but called as breaking torque it is t suffix b the rotation is clockwise and mu is 0.4 so coefficient of friction is 0.4 now this is the data which we have let us try to get the solution for this problem now in case of the solution for this problem first i will draw the diagram which is given now this is the diagram of we can say a single block break which is given in the problem here we have to calculate how much is the breaking torque so i'll say that since breaking torque is given by t suffix b is equal to it is mu rn multiplied by r so i'll keep this as my equation number 1 next after getting this here we have to calculate how much is rn mu value is given to us and even the radius of drum we have radius of drum here in this case it is 0.15 meter and mu it is given as 0.4 so both the values we have here now the only thing we don't have in this problem is rn so next we would be going on for the calculation of rn for that since here it is given that the rotation is clockwise so if it is clockwise rotation then the tangential force would be towards right and as we know normal reaction would be provided by the drum towards the brake so here i'll say that in vertically upward direction i am getting the normal reaction now what i will do here i would be taking the moment of all forces about point c but i need to know the distance between point c and rn value 
so for that i would be calculating this distance that is from the one side of the block to the center of the block so for that what i will do here i draw a triangle in which since the angle is 2 theta then half of that becomes theta now this is my opposite side i'll call it as x and here i have adjacent side which is nothing but the radius of this drum and the radius of the drum here is 0.15 meter so therefore i can use the formula of tan theta to get the value of x i'll say that therefore from geometry of figure alongside i'll say that tan theta is equal to x that is opposite upon adjacent which is 0.15 so hence x is equal to 0.15 into tan of theta since 2 theta is 45 degree so theta becomes 22.5 degree from this this i will be getting the answer of x that answer comes out to be 6.21 into 10 raised to minus 2 meters so i'll say that therefore x is equal to 6.21 cm now after getting x i can easily calculate the distance between normal reaction and point b or c that distance will be 35 plus x so i'll say that therefore distance between rn that is normal reaction and fulcrum that distance will be equal to 35 cm plus 6.21 cm that comes out to be it is 41.21 centimeters now after getting this i'll say that taking moments about point c we get now i'm taking the moment at point c for that i need to know the distance of rn and point c that i have calculated it is 41.21 now while taking the moment i will consider clockwise moment at positive so i'll say that summation of moments about c is equal to 0 and their clockwise moment is positive and anti clockwise moment is negative here it is clockwise moment so p into 54 plus 35 that comes out to be it is 89 cm so i'll write down p into 89 i am putting all the distances in terms of centimeter next rn it is anti clockwise so minus rn into this distance from point c i have calculated it is 41.21 next ft tangential force since tangential force is acting towards right this is i can say here the distance here is point c and this is point b this distance is 4 cm so if i take the moment it comes in anti clockwise direction so it is minus ft into 4 and instead of ft i can write it as minus mu rn because ft can be written as mu rn we know that into 4 cm is equal to 0 now therefore p comes out to be 600 into 89 minus 41.21 rn minus 
इंटू फोर आर एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो देर फोर आई विल बी कीपिंग आर एन टर्म ऑन वन साइड एंड शिफ्टिंग ऑल दी टर्म्स ऑन दी अदर साइड वेन आई कैलकुलेट दिस आई एम गेटिंग माई आंसर दैट कम्स आउट टू बी आर एन इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी सिक्स न्यूटन ना आफ्टर गेटिंग आर एन आई सी दैट put all values in equation number 1 so therefore put all values in equation 1 and when i multiply all the values i will be getting my breaking torque value as 52 newton meter that's the answer so here we have seen that in a single block break the amount of torque required is 52 newton meter in order to bring this break drum to rest and with this we complete the problem